My older brother once told me, no matter what you've done, you deserve respect. Even if you make mistakes, you're level. It doesn't matter your look, skills, age, or size, or anything. You're worthwhile. No one can ever take that away from you. <laughs> What is up guys, Coach Joe here at Garage De La Swole coming out with another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking all about my training more in depth. But before we get into it, I just wanna say thank you guys so much who took the time to watch my latest video where I'm talking about closing the gym, my new life changes and chapter kind of moving forward. And for the most part, everybody was just so supportive. That was a tough video for me to make. So I'm just very grateful for all of you, especially during these tough times or transition periods your guys' energy and support means the absolute world to me. So, thank you. And if you're new to the channel, guys, if you can, make sure you like the video, subscribe. I'm trying to get back on this YouTube game, and I really have been enjoying it. And there's so many cool videos that I have planned, and just kind of getting that fire back to make content, which I haven't had in a while. Going over the training of kind of what I've been doing, where I'm at, what I was coming from. So in the past, I would say probably the last year or so with my training, it's just been maintenance. Okay, I was super busy, I had a lot of projects, and it didn't make much sense for me with everything going on to compete, but I also didn't want to wither away, so I was just doing enough volume, kind of mixing in a little bit of strength training, hypertrophy, etc., just so that I could have some sort of maintenance. Now, definitely haven't been at the strongest, uh, but I also kind of wasn't completely starting from zero, even though sometimes it feels like that right now, uh, but it was just enough to kind of maintain myself. So, the last... Uh, six weeks of training has been dedicated to primarily hypertrophy training and building consistency. So in the past, I was probably training three, maybe four times per week for that maintenance volume. Right now, I'm back to training consistently four days a week with like a bonus workout. So I try to stay in that four to five uh, frequency for training days. The other thing on top of that is I recently picked up running. Okay? Running is something that in the past, I've always had a basic level of endurance. Uh, but once I started really getting into strength sports and getting heavier, the running and conditioning kind of fell to the wayside. And I reached that point where I was really heavy, okay, yeah, I was ball strong, uh, but at the same time, I just didn't feel athletic. I kind of felt clunky. And that's always something that I wanted to maintain. So I've been getting back to my roots where I've actually lost a good amount of weight. So the heaviest I was is about 285 pounds. Right now I'm floating right around 250. Uh, which obviously makes conditioning and running a lot easier and more enjoyable. Also, running is just something that I struggle with. It's a challenge for me, and I like doing things that are challenging. So with that, I basically run four days per week, and I'm at the point now where I've ingrained the habit of just getting up, you know, getting maybe a protein shake or a piece of fruit, and then hitting my running training for the day. The difference is, it's a lot more structured than it was in the past. So I've had to do you know, some homework on ways to enjoy running, ways to do it correctly, because in the past, I would just pretty much have like a higher intensity pace. I'd go as hard as I could, and then I would try to progressively push that more and more and more, but then I found that I was hitting these walls with my running training, and I just wasn't enjoying it, I wasn't motivated, and then I'd stop. However, doing that homework, I started falling in love with uh, low heart rate training and doing everything based off my heart rate and that became a lot more of an enjoyable process and my runs actually were so much easier like in terms of the intensity than I was doing before where it almost left me always feeling like I wanted to do more and that kind of made it easier for me to wake up in the morning and continue on with that consistency. So what it looks like right now, I've actually put a whole breakdown on my Patreon. So if you guys aren't on my Patreon, this is where I go more in depth with certain things I talk about in these videos. And I'd highly recommend you guys join the Patreon to get that content. But usually on Monday, I start with some sort of interval or sprint training. It's gonna be higher intensity. I come off of basically you know, a weekend of rest and then I can get after that run, can push really hard. And then the next couple runs are gonna be that low heart rate training where I'm basically gonna have my heart rate, uh, so say my max heart rate's 190 beats, I'm right around that 130 to 135 beats per minute pace, and it's a lot slower than most people think, but I've been building uh, duration with that. So I'm usually running for anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes without breaks at that 
135 beat per minute pace. And each week I find I'm getting more comfortable and I'm able to push longer and accrue more miles at the end of the week, uh, which is just helping me with my endurance goals. So typically I'll do something like that, you know, two or three days out of that running training. And then the last one's gonna be a tempo run. So I'm gonna be pushing that intensity a little bit higher and uh, that's just kind of the, the program that I have in place. Like again, it's on Patreon, I don't wanna talk about it too much, uh, but I do that every single morning basically during the week and then I have my weekends off. Uh, and then I'm doing my resistance training or my hypertrophy training right now in the evenings around 5 p.m. The reason that I like doing that is because I can hit the runs in the morning, I can get stuff done throughout the day, I can get my meals in, and then I'm fueled up and ready to go, so I'm separating those sessions. Now, if you're somebody who can't separate those sessions, I typically would do the strength training first, and then the cardio after, if strength is gonna be your primary focus. If not, you probably could do your runs before and your resistance training after, but I've just found that the workouts just don't seem as optimal when I do it that way. So when it comes to my training goals right now, I'm focusing on hypertrophy. This is my second mesocycle for hypertrophy. And then I'm gonna go into a strength block and then potentially compete in strongman in the fall. So I just wanna be consistent. That goal has been checked off where I'm training four to five times per week. Okay, I'm seeing jumps each week in my weight, which is great. Uh, and then I will use the muscle that I have and, and put it geared towards strength training and then potentially a strongman competition in the fall, which I'm really excited about. Another little fun goal that I've had is I've been obsessed with grip training. So I do grip training three days per week and I'll lay that out with you guys as I talk about how I'm doing my resistance training. Right back here. Man, the beach. Back I truly hate it. No, no, no! So the split that I'm following is going to be a push pull leg and then basically I have another push and pull day on Saturday with strongman intermix kind of like a full body day but getting some strongman exposure because that's going to be where I'm heading so I just wanted to implement some things and also just making sure that my shoulder's healthy, my bicep is healthy. So doing this extra volume and hypertrophy phase as I transition to a strength phase has been awesome. So on my push day, you guys will see me doing some bench press and that's been slowly adding progress week by week where I started this weeks ago, I was around a 215 bench for reps. Now tonight, I'm actually gonna be doing 250. So you can see how the weights jumped up over time and I've just, you know, progressively overloaded each lift and I'm feeling really good with where things are heading. So we got that bench press, then from there, we're doing an incline fat grip, uh, which I'm getting my, my grip in there and also a little bit of a strongman implement. From there, I usually end up doing some sort of fluff and puff bodybuilding stuff. So I'm doing some direct tricep work or some push downs, and then I'm doing uh, some bent over lateral and slash rear delt raises, which I've really been enjoying, which you guys are seeing in the video. So usually when it comes to grip work on my push day, I'm doing fat pinch grip block. I either raises or holds. I'll kind of go back and forth with those, but it's gonna be a pinch grip specific day. And then when we go over to my pull day, which I'm starting off with just some full range of motion barbell rows. Uh, and then from there, I'm doing some close grip pull downs. Uh, and then I'm gonna be ending with some uh, shoulders and bicep work. So when it comes to grip on my pull day, primarily I'm gonna be doing forearm direct work. So whether that's gonna be some wrist curls, it's also gonna be probably some wrist roller type thing. I'm just trying to focus on increasing the strength in my forearms. And like I said, that crush grip. And I'm gonna do a whole grip video separate uh, where I'm covering all the different types of grip, how I'm implementing them in my training. But you guys are kind of getting a little taste of it now. Then at the end of the week, so typically that's my Friday, I'm doing legs. It's gonna be more of a quad focused day with a little bit of hamstring. So I'm doing a high bar back squat. These have been going up week by week where I started probably around 225 and now I'm back to actually doing 315 uh, for reps. That was just a huge victory of me being able to squat 315 for sets of eight. I was absolutely stoked about that. And then I'm doing some Bulgarian split squats, which make me absolutely want to hate my life and existence, but they're worth it and they're awesome. So once you can get over that fact that you want to die doing them, they are very beneficial. 
I then started throwing in some uh, split stance trap bar RDLs. Now, typically I use these a lot for my athletes because I like getting in that unilateral work. I <laughs> just said that funny, uni. So with these, just a different variation, getting some unilateral work in. I actually go really light on these. I'm focusing on that good mind-muscle connection. And I almost like to have somewhat of a tempo on the way down and then more explosion on the concentric uh, portion of the lift. And with my athletes, I found that they've gotten great benefits just from a performance standpoint. And for me, it's just something different. It's something fun, change it up. Like I said, as I get into more strength training or more performance-based goals, you know, these are just kind of nice for getting me ready for that. And also the rehab or prehab type kind of movement that they're helping me out with my glutes, my hamstrings, my posture with my back, all that good stuff, which I think down the road is gonna be a huge benefit. So. Ideally, I wanna have more leg volume in, uh, but for keeping it very simple, just doing that push-pull leg, as I get into more of a strength block, I'll probably be squatting or doing some sort of leg volume more frequently throughout the week, because that's really helped me, but just kinda of grading the exposure into to the leg volume right now. Back on the oh yeah. So Saturdays have been a lot of fun. Primarily the Saturday is going to be somewhat of a push and a pull and or strongman. So for this day, I focused on a log complex where I did one log viper press, which is just a one motion clean and press into three push presses and ending with a jerk. Just trying to get more exposure and technique based work with the log. If you're watching the video, I actually have the log really low on my hips and one of the reasons could be due to the fact that I'm not using any gear in the sense of elbow sleeves, wrist wraps, belt, none of that stuff has been used in the last eight to nine weeks of my training. And I'll slowly start to implement that back in, but I want to build that base just completely naked and raw. Uh, so the law of being low may be the fact that I don't have a belt on, but I still want to get in the habit of having a lot higher. So when I was doing my log clean and presses, that's one thing that really stood out because I haven't done it in so long. I've done a lot of log tutorial videos where you can watch them more in depth with what I'm talking about if you don't get it. But if you do, you can see that that's a little bit of a weak area for me. Then from there, I was just doing uh, some wide grip lat pull downs. Just got a great uh, stimulus to the back there. And I like going a little bit wider because I'm trying to strengthen a wider uh, wingspan when it comes to picking up objects such as stones, such as sandbags, etc., that could potentially be in contest if I get into them in the future. After I was done with that, I kind of did a little bit of a circuit where I was doing the sled fly in and pull down and then a drag back. I was doing a little bit of rear delt work and then I actually included that lat pull down in with that set and I rotated through that four times, which was nice. And then lastly, to finish up the whole session, I just did some sandbag runs because once again, trying to get my bicep acclimated to those types of lifts or picks or being explosive and violent when you have to be fast for something. So it's a lot different than that slow and controlled with the hypertrophy. So I just wanna make sure that my ligaments and tendons are progressively gonna be ready to handle that type of weight and that type of force when I do need to be fast and explosive with heavier weights. And then I just finished up with some grip work. So for the grip for that day, just doing some forearm roller stuff, I was actually using the hub, which was a little bit different and fun. Uh, but I just have been throwing that in there and I'll kind of put in my grip work as more like the support category when it comes to grip training, which will be things like the strength you need for deadlifts or axle bar deadlifts or picking up weird awkward objects or things like farmer carries, etc. Come on! Get in there! Lock it in, let's go! Come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Come on, come on. So that's pretty much what the week has looked like. So we got that running in the morning, then we have that push pull leg, and then kind of that upper push and pull with some strongman on Saturdays. I'm gonna finish out this mesocycle. I have about three weeks left. I'll deload, looking at a competition in like November, totally for fun. Like I said in my last video, I'm just going in to do the best that I can do. I'm not comparing myself to the athlete or strongman. Uh, competitor that I once was. I'm not going to hold the numbers that I used to have in my head. I'm just going in because I love the community. I love the sport of strongman and I just do love competing. I've been a competitor 
pretty much my entire life. So for me to have a goal that I can train for, kind of scratch that competitive itch, show up, you know, have a great social time with everybody, that's the main premise and goal with that. Okay, I have nothing else that I'm trying to do with it other than have fun, keep my health in check, which is my main focus and priority, be smart with that, and however I end up is how I end up. I do have a collab coming up, so I'll be at Elite FTS uh, next week. So with Dave Tate, I'll be on the Table Talk podcast, we'll be filming content, really excited to get back out there. Then in October, I'm gonna be with Dr. Mike, the RP crew, and then I'm trying to also do a collaboration with Juji and some other people that are either close to the area or me start traveling more just to get really awesome content and training experience with some people I've worked with in the past and also new people who I've never worked with. I just enjoy learning, I enjoy knowledge transfer, and it's just fun for you guys to watch me work with other people, learn new things, and then hopefully you guys can take something away from that. Lastly, if you guys enjoyed the video, once again, give it a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below. I try to do my best to go through everybody's comment and respond to them. And then if you guys are looking to support the channel in any way possible, like I said, base level is just liking it, subscribing, sharing the video. If you're looking for other ways to support, we do have the Zat Strength programming app, which I'll put in the link down below. We also have the Patreon, which is growing. My goal is to get 50 patrons. Okay, so right now I'm around 30, so I'd like to get up to that 50. That'd be a huge marker for me. Once again, the Patreon is all behind the scenes content. It's nothing that's posted on other social media platforms. It's things that, like I said, I don't talk about or share, and it's exclusive to you guys. So I'm excited about that community we have going there and just the tons of variety of content, whether that is training, whether that is more talking about mental uh, toughness, mental strength, mental health, all that good stuff, and then just ways to level up or little even tricks or hacks or things about me a lot of people didn't know, that's all on the Patreon. So appreciate you guys for all of your support. It means the absolute world to me, especially right now in this new chapter. So we're gonna keep pumping out content and videos and I'm excited, I'm fired up, okay? I'm getting after it and I'm just here to push through any roadblock, any adversity, share it all with you guys and I wanna see you guys absolutely crush it in life as well. So. Put a comment down below. Make sure you guys are staying lean, mean, strength, health machines out there. And I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.